In Myanmar's north for more than 50 years, Shan State has been the battleground for armed ethnic groups fighting the country's army for more autonomy. During a recent army offensive, military helicopters were seen opening fire in civilian areas in a township of northern Shan State. The sound of helicopters and the loud explosions were terrifying. It doesn't matter if they were in town or nearby. The sound was very frightening for the children. Just this month, an Amnesty International report accused the military of committing war crimes against civilians in northern Shan State. The report also said that armed ethnic groups use abusive tactics as they fight the army and among themselves as they battle for control in Shan State, an area rich in minerals and where much of the world's illegal opium and heroin is produced. Civilians fleeing the recent fighting gathered at a Buddhist temple seen as a safe haven. Most of them are part of the Da'ang hill tribe. For generations, they have cultivated tea as their main source of income. Because they have been fighting like this, we can't go and pick the tea. This causes us a big problem. The tea overripens, and nobody will want to buy it. And that's caused economic problems. Northern Shan State is one of Myanmar's least developed regions, so if the fighting continues, there's little hope that the situation will improve for the people here. An example of the failure of a nationwide ceasefire agreement signed four years ago. But it could also mean political difficulties for leader Aung San Suu Kyi once she starts campaigning for next year's election. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera.